Rob Fowler is celebrating 35 years at WCBD TV Channel 2 as his chief meteorologist. Today, I talk one on one with him about his anniversary for this edition of Quentin's Close Ups. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like Quentin's Close Ups on Facebook. Chief Meteorologist Bob Fowler, welcome back to Quentin's Close Ups. It's always a pleasure, Quentin, to be on your show, and we're on your show in our brand new set here at News 2. We just christened it uh, very recently. Uh, recently. So what does that mean for you as a meteorologist? Well, we're sitting in the Weather Center, and the old Weather Center we had didn't have all the capabilities that we have now. So everything's at our fingertips. We've got monitors in front of us on both sides, so we can have all four meteorologists uh, working a severe weather event at the same time. And uh, it just gives us all the tools that we need at our fingertips. We don't have to go too far. And if there's a breaking weather situation like a tornado warning or a hurricane warning, uh, we've got all of us here all ready to go. Oh, man. Speaking of which, you know, back in North, North Mount Pleasant last Saturday, they had a um, they did. tornado. <laughs> they did. It was an EF zero. Uh, the wind's estimated about 70 miles an hour, about 120 in the morning, early Saturday morning. Uh, there was also a little rotation that was between Kiowa and Seabrook. Uh, but I talked to the National Weather Service. Service. They didn't hear about any damage there, so they didn't survey that damage. But there was some damage at a public works building in Mount Pleasant, North Mount Pleasant. So they did do the survey, and they did found that it was uh, basically conducive to uh, EF zero damage. And that again, estimated winds about 70 miles an hour. Wow! And I know they had some issues in Horry County, and yes. obviously Georgetown County, with tornadoes and flood warnings and whatnot. How recent have you seen something like that, as far as the EF zero tornado in North Mount Pleasant? Yeah. You know, I haven't seen that many. I mean, a lot of times only if there's a land falling hurricane. Not saying it wouldn't happen, but uh, we've been getting some of these storms coming in from the ocean. There's been a little rotation. We've had a lot of water spouts, Quentin, and what this probably was was maybe a little water spout, a circulation that formed in the ocean came on land and, and stayed together. Many times water spouts don't last that long because once they reach the, um, the land, they have friction like mm -hmm. buildings and trees. They don't have friction when they're in the ocean. So that's a little different. But this was probably some kind of a landfalling water spout that became a land-based tornado, and then we saw what happened. And speaking of landfalls, obviously this is the anniversary of Hurricane Hugo. Right. Where are you emotionally with that? You know, I, I'm uh, of course 33 years ago, and we can't forget. We can't forget, even though this has been a quiet season, knock on wood, so far so good. Uh, we're still in the meat of hurricane season. We know that still through the rest of September and into the first part of October, it could be very active and has been very active. So we can't close the book yet. But I always like to say every day that goes by without anything tropical we have to worry about, that's a good day. Yes, indeed. And speaking of good days, let's talk about this forecast here. Yes, I like this forecast here. <laughs> uh, basically, we're talking about, yes, yeah, it's been warm and humid early in the week, but it's going to cool down. I think what you're really going to notice is the humidity levels will really come down. Right now, as we're doing this interview, we're due point in the 60s and 70s, but in the upstate, they're in the 50s. And just think in terms of the lower the number, the more comfortable it is. So if we can get dew points in the 50s and 60s, uh, not the 70s, I think we're doing okay. I think I can go for a better run this week. Yes, yeah, so I think your run will be <laughs> much better this weekend. <laughs> Absolutely. So let me reset because obviously you are celebrating 35 years here at Channel 2. Who is Rob Fowler now versus 35 years ago? <laughs> oh gosh, Rob Fowler back in 1987 when I came here, it was my first job as a chief meteorologist. I, I wouldn't say I didn't know what I was doing, but I had learned from a lot of folks. I had been mentored by a lot of folks, and, and I thought I was ready, Quentin. I thought I was ready to take over as chief meteorologist, and I can thank uh, the mentors that I've had along the way who prepared me for that. But when you're in that seat, and all of a sudden you're the guy that people are looking at, um, you get a little nervous. I know two years after I got here, Hurricane Hugo came, and, and I can't sit here and say that, that I knew everything I was doing that time. I just kind of, uh, adrenaline was kicking in, and you you just kind of did what you thought you needed to do. Wow. So going forth, who can we expect from our Rob Fowler as chief meteorologist? Well, Rob Fowler is still going to be the same guy. Um, I still take a deep breath every show before I go on the air, whether it's good weather or bad weather. Uh, I know people are counting on us. I know that's our job, whether it, the weather is severe, whether the weather is like it is today, a mostly sunny day. So I'm a grandfather now, yes. so I've changed quite a bit in terms of uh, my priorities. Still, obviously, family is number one. You you know, God is number one, family, yes. and then and then my job. But I have such a great family here, Quentin, that, that I, when I come to work each and every day, it's like going to a family reunion because you, you, you've worked with some of these folks for so long yes. that uh, so 
I, I hope I'm a better person after 35 years. I've learned a lot, and uh, and obviously when you get older, uh, you start looking at different things being the most important thing in your life, and and uh, obviously family is so very important to me, and this job and the people who have been watching for all these 35 years are very important because they put me in this position. Yes, uh, of course. I will have to say personally, I grew up watching you. Well, so you know, in the 90s, so here I am. I appreciate that. I, I do get a lot of comments. You know, you came to my second grade class, and I'm like, how old? Do you now? And he said, "Oh, I'm 40." You know, I'm like, Ooh, I, people ask me, "What are you going to retire?" I said, oh. "When someone comes up and says, a second grader says, hey, my grandfather said you came to his class.' And maybe it's time I <laughs> need to step away when that happens." And, because you know, Brenda Jones, who used to work here, freak oh. out, was freaking out. She texts me, and she's like, "Is Rob retiring?" I said, "No, no, no. He's just celebrating 35 years." Yeah, recently they did a wonderful job. They surprised me. I knew they were going to do something, yes. uh, but what they did was just over and above. Uh, they went back and got a lot of folks uh, who I've worked with. In the past, they got some surprises. My family showed up, and uh, it was just quite the tribute, Quentin. And I'm, I'm always indebted to to my family here at Channel Two for making that very, very special. But yeah, if you just tuned in, it may have looked like uh, maybe I was retiring, but <laughs> I'm not retiring, uh, not not anytime soon. Oh no, I well, this station needs you, this community needs you, so we hope not soon. <laughs> well, uh, when I do retire, and that's uh, when a few years down the road, this this is where we've made our home, and mm -hmm. and uh, we will continue living our life right here in the Charleston area that's been so good to us and and I uh, can't say enough great things about this community I know I'm gonna be very busy because of politics and whatnot but for the next two months how will the weather look here in Charleston well I was just looking at uh, you know we don't, can't go too far out yeah. but I was just looking at an 8 to 14 day forecast and looks like it's gonna be above normal so mm. uh, fall officially arrives on the 22nd <laughs> of September but we know here in the Charleston area it can still get hot and in late September and early October uh, I always kind of judge the cool weather by the fair. Once the fair gets here late October, then we usually get a good cool down, but uh, I don't see anything anytime soon. Now it's going to cool down, down a little bit, but nothing really cold. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Well, the Low Country's Chief Meteorologist, Rob Power, thank you for your time again. Welcome back to Quentin's Close Ups. Thank you, Quentin, and always a pleasure. And welcome to our new studio yes. here at Channel 2. Yes, this is amazing. <laughs>